so this is Mr. Dunn's quick Among Us 3D design. So we're going to select a sketch, choose the front plane, and we're just going to rename that plane or the sketch to front. So I'm going to start off by doing an ellipses. So find the center point first, do the width and then the height. So I'm going to make it 40 by 30. I'm then going to use my line tool and I want to make sure that when I look in my actual toolbox up here that I can see that we actually have tangent selected because that will just help us make sure that whatever line we draw is going to be correct. So I'm going to find the farthest edge, make sure it's going down perpendicular and we're going to change that length to the line to 40. I'm going to complete this off by going 40 again. And then I'm just going to connect it up. So then we've got one complete shape. I'm then going to pick my corner rectangle, put it on the left hand side, and I'm going to go 15 because we need a bit of a gap between the two legs. Make it 20 here. Because we want to demonstrate the tools that we're using, so I'm going to use the mirror tool here. I'm going to select the center line that we're going to use to mirror, and then just click the lines that we actually need to be swapped over. I'll then get the trim tool and just trim off the connecting lines here. And that's going to be my front view for the moment. Now, what we want to do is now add on the extra bits and pieces onto it. So all Among Us characters have goggles. Okay, so what I'm going to do is create a new sketch. I'm going to rename it to goggles. And again, I'm going to select the front plane. So what I'm actually going to do is make a rectangle and I'm going to make it a center point rectangle find the center point of our entire design and I'm going to change it, the measurement so it's going to be 25 wide by 15 tall. Now what I would like to do is sketch, uh, sorry, fillet sketch so I can actually get those two edges and I can choose the radius I want so I'm going to keep it at a radius I'm going to have it a little bit more than 5 I'm going to change it to 7, the radius. So I'm going to do that corner. Now it does remember what you have just done for the radius, which is really good. So we don't have to re-enter the numbers in. And there I have my goggles ready to go. And the last sketch that I'm going to do is for the backpack. Okay, so again, I'm going to have to have a new sketch, again keep it on the front plane and I'm just going to rename it to backpack. So on the backpack what I'm going to do is create a rectangle. And what I'm going to do is, actually sorry, I'm going to use a line. I'm going to draw a line just a little bit further from the middle, so a little bit higher. I'm going to change it to about four millimeters. So it gives it a little bit of height. I'm going to escape that line. And then I'm going to draw my rectangle from there. So I'm going to draw another line out because it is a little bit easier. I'm going to make it 12.5. So then I can do my corner rectangle fine. So I'm going to go up here, go corner rectangle pick that corner that I've just drawn, draw out my rectangle, and I'm going to make it 25 by 25. So once I'm happy with that, about where the position is, I am then going to find that, just trim the line that we've just drawn that was individual to itself. And I've done it too many times. 
And I'm going to get rid of that, that line that we used originally for measuring out that file, 4 mils. So this is what our design looks like at the moment. So the next thing that we need to do is now actually extrude all so it all matches up. So what I'm going to do is get that front pane, uh, front sketch, sorry. And I'm going to extrude it. So I'm going to go extrude, select the front face. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a symmetrical. Oh, sorry, I'm going to do a blind and symmetric. So then when we actually look at it, it's going to go both ways. Okay instead of just out the one way. So I'm going to do it symmetric and I'm going to do it 25 mils. And so what we're going to do now is do our body fillet. So I'm going to select fillet, select the entity. So I'm going to select those edges. So it starts rounding them out. As I'm doing that, I'm going to make sure that it is going to be 10 mils, not 12 mils. We don't want to lose too much on our actual object. Now I'm just going to change it around to this bottom angle. So I'm going to do between the legs here. And then the insides of the legs. So then we get this view here. I'm just going to click OK on it. So then we can have a look. Now it looks alright. The legs are a little bit pointy. So what I'm actually going to do is add in another fillet going to rename it to legs and then I'm going to change the radius from 10 to 3 millimeters and then I'm just going to select the bottom edges of the legs oh, sorry not the bottom edges of the front edges and the back as well as the bottom edges now. It just helps remove some of that roundness of the overall character. Click OK on that. So this is looking pretty good so far. What I now need to do is then do the actual extrusion on the goggles so I'm gonna go extrude I've already selected the goggles face now what I want to do is do it so it's gonna be new okay when you do a new extrude it gives you a different color it shows you that's a different object so what I'm gonna then do is change that depth from 25 to 15 make sure that's coming out and if we look at it side on that looks pretty good so just to round it a bit more, I'm going to use that fillet tool. Select the edges of the goggles, which it's just done for me, which is really good. And I'm going to make it, instead of 3 millimeters, I'm going to make it 2. So it still has that shape, but it is very much rounded. And then the last part we need to do is extruding the backpack. So if I extrude, select our backpack. Now we obviously don't want the backpack to be coming out the same direction as the goggles so I'm going to change the destination and I'm going to make it about 18 millimeters and again we want it so it says new so it gives us that new object and to round it all off we're going to round off the actual backpack so I'm going to select the top edges and all the exterior edges so it does have that full rounded look And this one needs to be done. So if I click OK on that, we can now see it's all rounded. What I can do is now look at the appearance panel, change the colors. So I'm going to change it to red. I'm going to keep the goggles as that gray. And then I'm going to change that backpack to a darker red because, or kind of a brownie red because in the actual game the backpack's slightly different colour. 
So that is going to be my Among Us character.